very fascinating already. It has attracted a section of public discourse. Now, let's attempt to understand the mind of the creator or the sponsor of this billboard already. It is not too explicit as to who is really behind this particular creation. But it really talks about the current economic situation. Now, the creator decided to use two important things just to create this billboard. One has to do with proverbial statement and biblical allusion. Though the cross here represents a burden, wall if you like, it represents the current economic situation, that is Ghana. And then you can see the two people trying to carry the cross. So, well, that one is explicitly mentioned, Nana Ado, of course, I mean, President of the Republic, and just behind him is the Finance Minister, Ken Oforiata. Now, you can also see the bruises. Maybe, some way, somehow, they have been receiving a lot of flax as far as the management of the economy is concerned. So, we are talking about cost of living, too high. Isn't that obvious? Of course, it is. Then we're also talking about fixing the country or fix the country. People want to see a change in paradigm as far as the current economic situation is concerned. Maybe a solution is what they are talking about. In the creator's mind, this is what he is trying to communicate. But in a very witty way, the application of proverbial statements and biblical allusion to communicate a simple message to the general public that Ghana is very hard. But in the midst of all these things, there seems to be some level of a glimmer of hope as communicated beneath the pictures. Hope for tomorrow, hashtag, keep the faith, hashtag, Ghana, to wait. The economy or the Ghanaian economy was bounced back. The sponsor of this particular billboard is not yet known. But have you also noticed something? The logo. Maybe it rings a bell. The Bank of Ghana logo. But that is not to say the Bank of Ghana is the sponsor of this particular billboard. William Evansinkum, TV3 News, Fix the Country.